I just wanted to jump in and say what's up. Um, wait, you know what? I have my depressed loser hat right here. That does the trick. What's up? A little blue, huh? Because of the sunlight. I got sunlight on me right now. Guys, what's up? <sighs> I had one of those days today where I wanted to do a lot and I didn't do a lot. Uh, I did, actually, I did do a lot, but I didn't do everything I wanted to, you know? Um, you know how, like, I just got back from vacation, and... Sup, Mick Wheeler? Uh, I just got back from vacation, and it's, like, one of those things where I'm always, like, really, like, ambitious about what I can do on vacation, and how quickly I can get back to stuff after vacation. Oh, Ron Gina, what up? Coming in strong. Um, so... Some updates. You guys want you guys want the news? Today in the news. Let's see. Um I'll start out with news you guys just absolutely don't care about. Um which is person my personal news. Here, that's better. Uh but eventually it'll be dark. And the lighting will change, and so I'll have to change that. Um, news brief number one. I got a new carpet in here. You see that? See that carpet? New, new carpet. That's nice. Uh, I went to Sandwich, and then uh, my aunt rented a house in South Yarmouth. I grew up in Sandwich. Um, ooh, thank you, Allegra. Emily picked it out. She did a good job, though. I think it's really cool. It's fucking huge. It was a bastard. It was a bitch to get it in here. All right. So, uh, second part of news. I changed around my setup so that... All right. Monitor, monitor. And tower on the, the table. Show it off, right? Uh, I don't think Sandwich does have a subway. Maybe they do. No. Uh, they didn't when I was growing up. Um, yeah, now I'm a real streamer with his tower on his table instead of like a, um, some, someone from the 90s in an office who has his tower under the table, under the desk, and hiding it away. Now I'm showing it off. Um, there's a subway going down 29? Okay. Like, over by, uh, the Taverna, right? Only two monitors. I mean, yeah, no, you're right. It is a good start. Hey, but... You know what's cool? My graphics card has two display port ports in it. So, that's pretty cool, if you ask me. Even though I'm using one of them, because my wraparound monitor is an office monitor. So the graphics ain't so good, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, why is that cool? Because a lot of graphics cards only have one display port, and uh, you get higher resolution from a display port cable than you do from an HDMI cable. Uh, Rob of the East, good question. All right, oh, oh, well, I, I'm still going through the news. Um, here's another thing. I feel so bad because I was trying to pack for two weeks, I went away for two weeks, trying to do all that stuff, trying to get a bunch of shit ready, and trying to finish that Buckerson and Myers for the Patreon, and then I even put it on a hard drive so I could edit it up at my mom's house on my brother's computer, and again, going back to that thing of like, I was being way too ambitious about what I could get done while I was away. And I just, I, there, you know, my brother works on his computer, 
so I uh, wasn't able to get time in to finish the edit, but I just exported, oh, is my audio low? Here, I'll turn it up just a little, just a twee bit. How's that? I like uh, having a focus right. Uh, oh, thank you. Um, but, so for those Patreon people, the good news is I exported it right before this. So that means right after this, I'm going to upload it. So we have the, the Patreon version. It's done. The other good news, we already did the next episode. So I'm going to get that out there. I'm the bottleneck. My vacation is the bottleneck. And that bottleneck is getting cleared up because now I'm home. Now I got time to work on stuff. And yeah, it's a funny episode. Uh, so yeah. So, uh, if you got the Patreon, look forward to that. Uh, look at me. I am the Sam now. Look at me. Look at me. I am the Sam now. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, the next two episodes are going to come out real rapid fire. And I'm sure by the time we upload the episode three on YouTube, we'll have the episode uh four in the can too so it'll start rolling it's like don't be like oh these guys so so slow i know it's slow it it really is i had this big like this big trip this big trip home a lot of family in town my mom made me go to a lot of family events and even when there were storms and it was like, I can't hang out with family. She still arranged it so that family would come and hang out with me, which is fine. It was good. Uh, we got my cousin John hanging out with me, who is very cool and now a member of Whore Town. Uh, you, maybe you, you might have seen him in the flesh. Oh, sick. Cousin John on right now. You might have seen him in the flesh on... Um, uh, Trailer Boys. Uh, was that the tournament? Yeah, that was the tournament. He, he decided a lot of your fate. Um, oh, also, here's another bit of news. Is that Sunday, season two of Trailer Boys starts. What does that mean? Why do these shows have seasons? Well, the show has seasons because we keep track of scores. And the people that scored well got into a tournament this time. And the tournament was fucking awesome. It was so funny. It was great. Uh, and yeah, uh, I don't know, should we, should we watch? Should I set it up so we can watch the one of the, I guess my favorite trailer was the first trailer we watched that, that night. I'm going to watch it. Even though it's not Trailer Boys, it's just like, this was a, a freaking ride of a trailer. Um, the winner, Professor Marth Live, uh, and um, yeah, why, why everyone's texting me right now. What's up? Yeah. What? Uh... Oh, ooh. Timmy did some fan art. I'm sure he'll show it off on... He's texting me some fan art, which I'm sure he'll show it off on Self Suck. I guess he's not on Self Suck this week. Is he not? I No, no, he's not. You guys like my phone? You guys, a little something about me? Never owned an iPhone. Oh, m sorry, Professor Marth Live. Um, you're right. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, what was that? Do you guys miss my clickety clackety? All right.
When will be Daniels be Okay, here, I'm gonna share this. Um bum, 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 do, do, do. What window am I in? Oh, this one, okay. Jesus Christ, I got all too much going on in here. You ever do, you do that? You, you do a lot of work. I have, I have a problem with like, uh, I'm doing too much stuff on the fly. And this is how stuff gets screwed up. I'm doing all this stuff on the fly and I keep like adding. So like when I like looked at this, there was like four like game captures, even though I'm not playing a game right now. Alright, let's... I'm gonna... Do this. This is... So this was my favorite entry, and it was the first entry in the Trailer Boys uh, competition that we had. Came a part-time canine in the Shaggy Dog. He didn't realize that his condition would come back and hound him in his adult years. In this side-splitting sequel, Wilby's all grown up, but unfortunately he is still subject to a furry transition every time the inscription on an ancient scarab ring is read aloud. The Shaggy DA. It's Walt Disney Productions' shaggiest comedy ever. The Shaggy DA. Dean Jones is the underdog. Tim Conway. Elwood. Uh -uh. I am not Elwood. I am actually Will Be Dan. <laughs> sure. Gotcha. Suzanne Plachet. Whoop. Keenan Wynn. <laughs> <laughs> Grab that dog. Look, shall have to get Will Be. Follow that dog. And Will Be's out to bury your funny bone. That's awesome. Now this way. Shoot him down. It's the cleanest. We haven't played catch, but I am showing you the trailer to that Shaggy DI. Ending in a landslide of laughter. Walt Disney Productions, the Shaggy DA. Say it again, Sam. <laughs> the shaggy DA. Soon in a kennel near you. Woof. That was great. That is great. Uh, so let me see. I messaged Fortnite. I don't know. Fortnite's busy. So yeah, I guess it's up to you guys. Um what we play today uh so i'm gonna put up a poll I'm going to put something down here. Uh, all right. Here we go. All right, I'm going to start the poll. Maybe take a second to vote, because I'm going to explain the, the things. Uh, something new, like, let's just, like, browse around online and see if there's a new game that I should check out. Uh, something old school, like, I can, like, find some sort of old 8-bit game or something like that like you know like Timmy's whole like symphony symphony of the night thing uh warzone you guys get that fortnite if anyone and those fortnite and warzone if anyone wants to play i'm i'm down to add you on and we can play 
uh, witness or some puzzle. Like, I am kind of having an itching for, like, a puzzle game type of thing. So, if you want to do that, we can do that. Uh, ooh, something new and something old school. Really battling it out right now. And no one wants to play Warzone. Hollow Knight. Dude, I fucking love Hollow Knight. Uh, I think Timmy should play Hollow Knight. I would also be down to, to see what's going on with, like, Dark Souls or something. Um... Sure, whatever, bro. Uh, Alright, if something new... Something new wins, we're gonna, like, browse around a little. Uh, I need to mile your shit? Ew. Bloodborne. I haven't played Bloodborne yet. Stardew Valley. Have played Stardew Valley. Um, what game do you want to play, Zo Zodiac? Bloodborne. Same. Is there any, like, MMO I should be playing? Like, I saw, um, Choom was playing, uh, fucking MMO Final Fantasy. Alright, something old school. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's look around. Yeah, it would take me a little bit to figure out. Oh, other big news. Uh, next week, this stream, I've got a special guest. You might know him from the Thursday night stream, Zucchini Boys. But, ladies and gentlemen, one... Mr. Timmy Williams will be trying Fortnite for the first time on our stream. I'll try and get some other people involved and stuff, but uh, Timmy, uh, I've been talking to him a while about trying Fortnite, and he is down. And so, uh, alright, let me... Big City Tilliams. Big City Tilliams is going to be on the stream. Let's see. To do. Oh, I want to hold on. <laughs> this is so lame of me. I'm like, oh, I want to check and see what's free on the Unreal Store first. So sorry, but I want to see or not the Unreal Store, the uh, Epic Game Store. Oh, what was it? I was on something, and there was like a player creator thing. New to the Epic Game Store, the Banner Saga trilogy. Did anyone ever play that? That seemed cool. The Banner Saga. Uh, Rocket League. Isn't there a free game? There's always supposed to be a free game, right? Let me see if it's free. Abduction from the creators of Myst. This looks right up my alley. Guys, this looks right up my alley. Has anyone played it th this yet? I'm trying. Maybe never. Clock. Kobe. All right. This is this is new, but it it is old school. And I was talking about wanting a puzzle game, so let's see. Hopefully this doesn't take forever. Maybe, but I'm just going to hang until it... Let's do the install now. 
I also have Sonic Mania on here. If Abduction sucks, we'll play some Sonic Mania. It's Obduction. But, I mean, you guys could help me. It's easy to feel overwhelmed at all the options of things to do, but if you just take it at your own pace, it's hella fun. Sonic is doo-doo. Play some Super Hang-On. What's Super Hang-On? Meadow Hands, is it good or is it gonna be boring? Oh, it's about aliens, it's super fun. Oh. And it's with an O, guys. So, hopefully we're talking about the same thing. It feels like a jump scare is gonna happen all the time. Oh. To name your firstborn child? No. I have always said, though, that um, when I have a kid, I really want to... Oh, Meadowhands was thinking of Alien Isolation. Oh, I do want to play Alien Isolation. Uh, why is this kid? Um, let me see. Oh, I guess I have to up. That's stupid. Let me see if I can. Alright, here we go. That's only five gigs. Let's take a second. This won't be bad. Um, if it sucks, we'll do something else. I would definitely watch some... The I've always wanted to play The Binding of Isaac. Video games with aliens? Man, 2021 is awesome. Uh, that little man in the corner looks just like him. Hmm. 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 Abduction, you're abducted from Earth and you're on this alien planet, but there's a lot of human elements. It's a lot of point and click, but the puzzles are good. Zack Slade's Binding of Isaac. Great game. Binding OG Isaac gets hectic. Uh, these are old glasses, but thank you. Oh, they're boring, though. Everyone has these plasticky. I like my favorite type of glasses are the, I don't think John Wayne Gacy wore glasses. Um, he wore clown makeup, right? Uh, original Doom? Dahmer glasses, that's what you're looking for. Yeah, um, but my, my favorite, in the, the 80s, they had these glasses a lot, and you see them in a lot of old movies, um, like Beetlejuice, like Alec Baldwin had them, but they're like plastic frames, but they're like big. I used to have a pair, and they broke, and I haven't, uh, yes, John Wayne Gacy was mean. These, yeah, these are Ed Kemper glasses. I cut my mom's head off and put it in a bag to show her I controlled her. I just got that, um, the book of, um, what is it, Mindhunter? And, uh, I was like, I, I was reading, st I, I needed a book for the beach. And I go out on the beach with my family and I'm sitting there and... I open up this book, and it's a beautiful day, and, like, the first page is, like, the the writer, who's the, the main guy, describing if all the people he caught were torturing him, 
this like nightmare he had so like the first page is like they put sticks into my penis hole and shove it deeper and deeper Uh, not a myth. Not a myth. Yeah, I hear JWG didn't leave a penny at Minmart's. Uh, oh, yeah, that, he was a mean guy. He, he always took cents. He never left. He, never, he always took the penny. Never left the penny. Uh, hey Sam, I'm working on a huge SSS compilation of the best moments in the past year, and it's reaching the one hour mark. Oh wow. Would you like me to send it to you when I finish? Yeah, sure. That sounds great. Uh, lol, well, what? Uh, thought double shit. Which Fifty Shades was that? Mindhunter. Fifty Shades of Mind. Meadow Hands, thank you for the gift. John Wayne Gacy was a Pisces, and that bums me out. Because you're a Pisces, Allegra? Can anyone guess what, what astrological s sign I am? Glass tube into your urethra? That's, ugh. I'm a Pisces. We already have a bad rep. Oh, wow. Cramp style. Guessed it right off the bat. Scorpio. Uh, I'll tell you a story. Uh, this is the thing. I'm a Scorpio. And, like, I'm sure uh, other Scorpios can... You know who else is a Scorpio? Darren's a Scorpio. Uh... Like, I, I don't, like, take much stock in the whole astrology thing. It's interesting. I mean, I'm sure, like, if you're born, you know, if you're used to your birthday being in fall, you'll, if you fall a little different, and that'll uh, affect your life forever, uh, make you have some similarity with all the other people that view are happy about, you know, like, being born then. But, uh... Uh, I'm actually an October Scorpio, but most Scorpios are in November. Uh, but I will say, like, like f for this thing, there's so many times where people are like, so what sign are you? So what's your sign? And you go, Scorpio. And they're like, oh, that's the bad sign. Ooh. Ooh. And it's like, are you really going to fucking judge me on when I was born? Because guess what? I really didn't have much of a choice. I don't. I'm sorry. I didn't do as good a job at being born uh, a Leo or some shit. I don't know which one the good one is. Oh yes, yeah. No people, but people always go, "Ooh, Scorpio." Ooh. Yeah, true. Cancer is cancer. On society but no I am a bad boy that's right that is where that bad boy kind of thing I think Raphael of the Ninja Turtles is a Scorpio and that's one of the characters in all of uh, our culture that I uh, relate to uh. Raphael's the best ninja. I mean, he's the loner, you know? He's... he's The team isn't complete without him, but he wants to do it himself, you know? He's based on... Oh, he is based... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, damn, talking Ninja Turtles for sets now, huh? I mean... Is I, is Leo a Leo? Is that does that check out? Donatello's cool.
I feel like Raphael wasn't as much like antisocial as much as he like was nonconformist. No, they weren't I went I guess they're right. They're all brothers and that's the way turtles work. Is that they all are born from like a big thing of eggs. You know what Leonardo is? A bitch. Oh, you know what I gotta play? I gotta play the fucking um, Battletoads on this. I gotta get that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. I, but, uh, Abduction just downloaded, but I'm also gonna see how much Battletoads is. Because fucking Wade wrote on that, and Kelsey, and Ryan Ridley does a voice on that, and that's fucking cool, and I should support my friends. And uh, Tom Kaufman also wrote on it, very cool guy. Uh, I think Tom Kaufman was the head writer on it, but... Uh, and I hear it's really funny, and I was excited to play it, because I had a... I don't have Xbox Game Pass. I don't have an Xbox. Uh, it works on PC though. It does. Oh, Xbox Game Pass works on PC? Hmm, I wonder if that's worth getting. Why is this not working? Epic Games, shut the fuck up. Alright, I'm gonna have to relaunch Epic Games now. Alright, I'm gonna check Steam for it. Mm. It's twenty bucks. That's not bad. Yeah, I gotta get this. I don't have a huge game collection. I always, you know, like, fucking... I like buying stuff on, like, PlayStation Store and stuff like that, because, like, for the longest time, I would, like, buy... Uh... Games and shit. And... It would... They would just, like... I would like lose them, or I would like the day the disc is over. Yeah, I'm so glad that I can like uninstall stuff on my uh, on my. I, I really like that, like having like ownership of a license of a game and not having to physically have the game or even have the game installed on on my shit. Uh Oh, let me let me talk some Rex. Um I watched that movie uh um the new HBO Max one. Um I forget what it's called. It's uh like Nobody Move or something like that. Like Don't Move. Settings. I always, for some reason, my fucking shit always opens up graphics. Oh. <laughs> Alright.
trying trying to um no sudden moves yeah that's it thanks uh no sudden moves was really fun i i, I thought it was a really cool movie uh don Cheadle was really good in it is what i thought why can't i settings I'm just gonna play it on here. Um, you guys are gonna be over here. This is gonna be on my worst monitor. You see? All right. Um, and let's see. Okay, here we go. You guys hear it okay? New game. Sam! Navigation type? Free roam. Character shadow? Alright, he's got a male shadow, everyone. Stuck. You all remember, there was no turning away. It advanced, almost like purposefully spinning slowly until it's a big freaking acorn. See, that's out of focus. Whoa! You guys ever do acid before? Acid's kind of like mushrooms, but more intense. Title card. 
The main villain he had brought here. Mm. I can run. I missed the lantern. Thanks for giving me a cheat. Oh yeah, it's all gold. I can... Just say something on it. There's my man shadow. But your grown man twice my age playing video games through a phone screen is the only place I need to be. So are you 18? 19? I can't do math. 19 and a half? 19 and a half. Hello. Bonjour. Ciao. <laughs> Bonjour. Hello. Shora. Ni hao. Ni hao. to go through this experience. The others who have come before you will help you adjust. Look, they got these floating rocks, but they have just normal speakers. Fali will meet you there and introduce you to your new life here. Alright, you can have floating rocks, but you need a wire to go from the fucking button. I'm trying to see his butt. What good is this game if you can't see any butts? Alright, I'm following the train tracks into town. I keep forgetting that. Extreme anxiety with... been five days and not a soul has returned. I'm inclined to believe that things have not gone well. Yet surprisingly, I am still alive and that both supremely perplexes me. I'm still alive and that both supremely perplexes me and oh oh and gives me a portion of hope. Okay. I have retreated to my vault for protection and to contemplate my options. Yeah, that's grim. Should be talking about that on the stream for depressed losers. Guys, there's only one option, and that's life. Um, I'm Farley. I guess if you've seen this, then I wasn't just in case. Um, welcome, buddy. It's probably not safe here. To be blunt, we're getting ready for a battle. I don't know what you'll find. I just thought I should. Just be cautious with who you trust. CW may be here. I don't know. Just be careful. I've got to go. 1436, huh? Okay. Do not approach anything that even remotely resembles this diagram unless it has been disabled. Okay. 
Mm. Come on, the windows are open. Shouldn't I be able to, like, open up the window? Hmm. It's one of these games. You pick shit up and you look at it. Huh? What game be this? Oh wait, I have to uh, update my info. Page for this Twitch stream manager edit info. We're gonna category abduction. Okay, you're watching me play from the makers of Mist Abduction. keep hitting space to jump and it's take a picture so far we've seen a couple of recordings Margaret Hart Room. Daniel Come on, how are you going to look at a tombstone like this and not check what's underneath it? Does this suck, guys? Oh, weird. Alright, so that's like the alien planet, and this is like the planet where they're like, hey, everything's normal. Alright, cool. Just want to make sure. If this starts to suck, let me know. Oh, look, a big bee. wonder if he's friendly. Hey, the door. Better shut the door behind me. Don't want to be rude. Hmm. Glowy rock. Yeah, there are like zero butts in this game. Hmm. Maybe that's a puzzle. Wait, did I just lock myself in here? No. No, I did not. Just exploring my space. Is this where I started? think so. I'm gonna go back to that lantern. Whoa! Third bout of COVID. Fuck that. You just hope you're okay. Huh? 
That's weird. Feel anything? Hmm. Real, I watched in my time. It's ass. Hey, Terry, if you're in this stream, we're meeting at Denny's after this. I like those WKOK guys. Wonder what ever happened to them. Eh, not much. Yeah, it's a fucking lantern. Turned on the lantern. These little things. Wonder is there something that the lantern needs to light? I don't know why my thought is. Time to explore some more. Ooh, fistful of dollars. Or wait, I'm not sure if I read that right. Getting too. Let me see what. I think there was a tunnel over here that I could. a puzzle. I have to like, or is this just controlled junctions? We have a healthy, thriving community here, as you can Ah, Joseph! Our garden was planted years ago. Supplied plenty of food for many generations. The buildings around town serve multiple purposes. 
Yes, yeah, so let me see that butt. Let me see that butt. Come on. Just let me look at it. A little quick, quick peek. Eh? Eh? He's afraid I'm gonna hit him in the nuts. See how he's holding his hand? That's how you know. What's this say? Ooh! Hellcat Kuro! Gifting! That's a 252nd gifted sub! Wild. That's so sick. It's fucking red, Hellcat Kuro. Oh, puppy! Okay, okay. All right, one, one, three, seven, nine. Sounds good. All odd numbers, okay, okay. What the fuck is that? There's like a hole in the wall. It's like classic mist type stuff where it's like, yeah, this is a puzzle game, but it's like, where are the puzzles? And that's like part of the puzzle. But when you find it, it rules. In Mist, there was this one part that was fucking tedium, where it was like, there was like a tunnel like this, and there was like a button in the darkness in the middle of the fucking tunnel, and couldn't beat the game without finding that, and that was... Ooh. I can't go and see the tree. It's horseshit. I just want to see the tree, man. Can't open the door across from the tree. There isn't really a door to the tree. Can I go under the tree? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. It 
if it's for PC only. Sam, did you enjoy playing female characters in skits? Yeah, it was fun. I enjoy playing like anyone where it's like, I was kind of talking about this the other day with like, I, I love putting on a costume, you know? Like that's so fun. I remember one year, I, uh, my mom was like looking, or for, she was going on a yard sale or something like that. She found this like, this like pink dress. And this was like when we were doing our, our sketch show and she was like, oh, I thought you could wear this dress. The dress was insane. It was like, do you remember, uh, has anyone seen Never Been Kissed? A uh, quality movie. Uh, but, uh, it was like the Josie Grossy jet dress from that. And, but it, like, fit me. And I, that, and I had, like, a buzz cut. And that year, I, now Trevor played female characters, but only when it was, like, we were all playing female characters. But, uh, the s &M sketch, he played a female character. What the frick is this? All right, well, found out the, the easy way that it doesn't hurt me. Uh, so anyways, so that year I was like, oh, it'd be funny if I went to my school's Halloween thing in this dress, but not like dressed up like a woman, just in the dress with like, a shaved head and like lipstick smeared on my face and uh, and my whole thing was I was everyone was like oh you're you're a woman and I was like no I'm a crazy guy in a dress and I had like this whole freaking character I like act super unhinged and shit and it was super fun and I made out with a girl that night, so it was a good costume. I think that's named Drew. It's Barrymore. Oh yeah, that's true. I don't know any female Drews. That's right. It's a lot of short for Andrews. Oh, I got somewhere. Let's see what happens when I flood this bitch. Actually, I should kind of check it out to see if there's a before. Let's see what the before is like. Alright. Can't go out there. Yeah, I scored for everyone. We just made out, but it's pretty cool. She was like a sexy vampire. Like a vampirella vampire. It's pretty cool. What are a couple of Simpson quotes you think of almost daily? Uh, I freaking love. Still counts? Is that a pun? I think that, if that's a pun, point to Jarek Seer. Like, count Dracula. Uh, let's see. Uh, did that girl come out as a lesbian later? Uh, I don't know. I didn't keep track with her. I wasn't wearing a bra. Uh, oh, hey, what up? <laughs> oh, you forgot your phone charger? I'll grab it. 
Uh, it's funny, I just got... I, that completely derailed me. Uh, I was talking about making out with a girl and my, my wife pops on. <laughs> my full wife. Uh, what was I going to say, though? Class just ended, and I'm making sure you're not cheating. Ah, uh, talking about girls that you made out with on Halloween years ago is not cheating. I just wore a dress. Um. Wait, oh, was, was that, uh, the full wife? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, Simpsons quote before that. I fucking... Love change the change the subject change the subject. Uh, that's cheering. Yes, that's right. That is cheering. Uh, <laughs> I fucking love the quote uh, when Homer says when someone says Mrs. Krabappel and Homer says her name's Krabappel. I thought it was Crandall. I fucking love that. I think that is such a smart joke. Uh, because of how... It's like a, a smart joke made out of a dumb joke. Because, like, it's such a dumb season one joke of like, Oh yeah, the teacher's name is Krabappel. Spelled exactly like Crabapple. Uh, and... Praise Jeebus? I would say I think of that episode as the Jump the Shark episode of this, The Simpsons. Uh, that's the PBS one. SMRT. No, but uh, the the crab apple, like you think he's they they have that ex you have that expectation that they're saying that. Uh, all right, I won't forget your charger or flock is food. No, love you. This is how you text now. It works better than actual text, though. Did you text me? I don't know. Uh, I mean... Praise Jeebus. It's fine. That's where he becomes the... Um, the missionary, right? But yeah, yeah. So like they they play that subversion of expectations so well because you think he's going to say crab apple or crabapple. I thought her name was crab apple. But then he's too stupid to even get that. He thought her name was Crandall. I think that is very good. Because it's like seasons in the making because they never pointed it out really before what did this music reminds me of something reminds me of like the like uh, social network Oh, Crab Apple was made, like, more than once, too? Okay. But, I mean, still, it's, like, a lame joke, so to, like, to subvert that joke is really funny. to be a dick. This is a fun stream. The Family Simpsons 
Smash us. A family guys. It's like I'm in Lost. The fact that one of the most important necessities of life has been provided to us has led many to believe that in this place it has a purpose. Others attribute that whole subvert toying with expectations thing. I love when Snake sets up uh, for now as he's driving. Hold on, so these shots. I'm a huge, I'm also, I'm going to say I'm also a huge fan of Futurama. Or, I mean, I think we've talked about it on stream in humorous ways, but sincerely I'm a fan of future Futurama. Uh, okay, okay. Right, let's see. games where you touch something and does something. Oh, by the way, I'm watching um uh any anyone watching White Lotus now? I'm watching White Lotus. It's only two episodes are out and it is fucking good. Uh by uh Mike White who also did School of Rock and uh, Enlightened. Enlightened's an amazing show. One of my favorites. Uh, Rock and Morty. I know there's something with these valves. I'm trying to see where that water goes to. Huge question. When was the last good season of The Simpsons? Uh, my gut says 10. But it's probably 12. Yeah, 2000, 2001, something like that. And like even then, it's probably. Uh, I know Matt Groening's son. He's a really nice guy. It's pretty cool, right? Drop that. Wait, what happened? Did the landscape change or am I going crazy? Where was that lantern? Oh, it was over here, I think. Hey, Big D Liquor. Is that. I, uh, no, it's not. Never mind. I always hear things and I'm like, oh, that's a reference to this thing. That's the first thing that came to my mind. And then I'm like, no, it definitely stands for Big Dick Liquor. But there's this ska band that I used to listen to called Big D and the Kids Table. Have you seen the episode Dress Park? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's heartbreaking, that episode. That fucking... That fucking dog. 
I'm not gonna give it away. I was almost gave it away. Is there something on? All right, so this is like the only thing that's like done anything so far. And this is, I think, Allegra was like, "Hey, there's that thing. Is there something you're trying to tell me about this?" The multi, the multi-layered arcs in uh, oh, the luck of the fry is just really good. Um, that's with his brother. Um, the time keeps on slipping. That's a really good one. Yeah, Simpsons. I saw. I saw a Simpsons movie in a packed theater. It was like in New York, theaters packed, everyone was psyched, everyone was applauding. And I gotta say, like, that can kind of ruin a movie for me because, like, especially a comedy, because if the audience is laughing at, like, every joke and I'm, like, clearly, like, not registering with some of the jokes, it, it really, like, I get more critical and I go, hey, these people here are stupid. They don't know what's funny. They're just idiots. And I'll probably like it worse than I would have liked it if I watched it alone. So that was the Simpsons movie experience for me. <laughs> what do we want? Fry's dog. When do we want it? Fry's dog. Let me go back in here and see what's up. See, I feel like like these games are it's all about like looking at something. And then all of a sudden you see some aspect of it that like makes sense. And that stuff that you've seen starts to make more and more sense. So this beginning phase is pretty boring because all I am doing is going around and looking at stuff and going, Oh, can't walk there. Oh, dead end. And then I go over to another part and I go, oh, this does this. Like, I'm going to go back to that thing that where the water was coming. Oh, the Star Trek. I almost said, well, wasn't every episode of uh, Futurama a Star Trek episode? But yeah, the Star Trek episode was, was awesome. I fucking loved that. I'm like, I forgot about that. Now I'm thinking about it. Uh, one of my favorite parts of that is when uh, they're doing the Star Trek con. They're, the whole thing is they're like, they've got the Star Trek heads and... They're going to find the rest of... Or no, they've got Spock's head, and they're going to find the rest of the Star Trek's heads or something like that. And Spock comes to find everyone. Everyone leaves for... I forget why, but like they, they leave the planet, and Spock doesn't go. Remember the joke there is that he has a six-month lease on an apartment that he can't break. Uh... And so everyone leaves and goes into space except Spock, or Leonard Nimoy, sorry. Uh, and the Fry and the Futurama crew get Leonard Nimoy and they're like, hey, let's go find everyone. And they find him on this planet with this um, little, like, kind of Star Trek monster thing. It was like one of those cloud things. Uh, and The now that they have he has Leonard Nimoy, he's like, all right, the we can finally start Star Trek Con, whatever, whatever. It'll be take last forever, so you're trapped here forever as part of this convention. And uh, Bender says, "What if you're not a Star Trek fan?" And then uh, the guy that plays Chekhov goes, "Yeah, good question." 
Loved it. Loved it. Hey, it's the winner! What game is this? This game is Obduction with an O. Allegra, what do I do? Wait, I went to the, the lamp already. No, it's not that you're sounding pushy, it's just I keep missing what you're saying. Why isn't this working? Alright, the music's getting swelly, so maybe it's just... It doesn't work anymore. Go back to where you were. Just there. In the shed. Oh, I like Archer. That's a good show, too. Archer is written very well. There's a tank in here? There's a bunch of drums. Oh, wait, I just missed. On the table? Oh. There's a thing. Oh, the thing, the recording, man. Can I go back up here? that guy. What'd you say to do now? Chicken wing! What up, what up? Thank you so much for those subs. It's very nice of you. Very, very, very curious. Mermaid ate too much Cuban food and she says she's gonna puke. He says? She says? It's super easy, but unless it's a simple game or a shooter.
Um. Yeah, I just want to say that, that I think Archer is an underrated show. Uh, I think Archer, a lot of people write it off as like a Family Guy kind of show. And I will also say that Family Guy has its episodes. The 100th episode where, they're in, where it's Brian and Stewie locked in the bank vault. That's a good episode. Uh... But I think a lot of people write off Archer as like a, a fratty show. And the writing is very smart. The voice acting is very good too. That's a good point. Um, but the, the way that they transition from scene to scene is like, is great. Like the way the dialogue flows into itself. Uh, Doesn't Archer, I think Archer has one more season. Anything worse than this. Allegra! Help! Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about, Allegra. The, like, the way that, uh, they transition between the, the, the dialogue. Like, that's not editing. That's, like, writing the edits in. And that's f fucking smart. And it's one of those things that kind of goes a little. I played this since early college. I'm using Google. No, I don't use Google. Let's not cheat. I was just like, if you. I wonder if that thing works now. Telling you, at some point, I'm gonna have to stand on this roof and look at that puzzle. You can't jump in this game, it's one of those games where you can't jump. You just walk around and just poke at stuff. Mm, poke it, poke it. I feel like I have to go back up to that thing. Have I been over here? I wonder if the fact that I've like... done that to the thing, it's affected the, because I can't use the elevator anymore. Okay, I think I remember there's a few levers you pull to do something with the waterfall. But there's more messages from the mayor with no butt. Oh, okay. So those messages have importance. See if I can hit this again. God, gosh darn it. Let me see if I can annoy this guy again. The Mayor with No Butt Trilogy. So 
it like a one-time thing that I can use this thing? So I, I had this message already. She's a dog. I used to have party dog. This place has a purpose. Others attribute a complex natural process which we one day hope to understand. Either way, we are glad to have all the water we need. Wait, what are the uh those buttons? Does the water go? That's what I want to know. Ooh, I, I like that clue. One switch away from progress. Oh wait, let's see where I'm. Where would I go? I get this thing where it's like I was up hmm I get this thing where if I'm playing a game and it's like I'm up in an area, I'm kind of exploring it, and I go down the elevator and then the elevator stops working, I'm like, what did I miss up in the, that area? How do I get back up there?
Is this frustrating? Has this gotten frustrating to see me stuck in this game? It's chill, bro. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching me play. I was playing uh, Warzone, or no, not Warzone, I was playing Black Ops with, if anyone wants to switch over to Black Ops, let me know. Uh, if anyone wants to play Black Ops with me, I'm down to play. Uh, but this dude had his mic open, and he was fucking, hmm. what's this? He had his mic open, and he was talking to his chat, but he, like, didn't know how to play. It was pretty funny. good handle on this game yet. Gotta admit. the size of this game. What's one of your favorite games of all time? Um, I mean, I really liked Witness. That's like part of the reason why I'm playing this. Uh, I, I always like my answer, my go-to answer for my favorite game of all time is Mario Brothers 2 Lost Levels. Like the Japanese Mario Brothers. Uh, it's so fucking hard, but it's very rewarding to, to play and to make it far in. What's that little spark? What's that thing? Oh, that's that bee. search here much. Am I... To the people that have played this, uh, colder or hotter? That's what I'll ask. Like the most cold you could possibly be. Alright. That's helpful. Dude. 
I'm feeling the music, which is like location based, is giving me hints and I'm just ignoring it. See? Music starts over here. I feel like the... the oh, thank you, Allegra. Says three seven nine. Trash form. Hole in the wall. Tunnel. Other tunnel. This is what I remember this to be like. This was a cool game once it got going. Hopefully this will be a cool game once it gets going. I'm too stupid right now. I mean, aren't isn't that like kind of that? Is that what you're saying? Don't. Is that like the cake is not real? Ooh, thank you, Allegra. This one yet? I think I did, yeah, because I remember. Right, left, both, left, 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 right. We'll lose your points at me. Switch right here. I feel like I've done some stuff, but now I'm to the point where, but this is it. I mean, like, this is like what you gotta do. So you gotta like keep on walking around a place until you know like how everything should be. And then finally you hit something and you see it's different. This pisses me off. This is now stuck before I could get up there. So I wish I kind of like explored more before I yeah I think I am too but I wish I explored more before I did the thing that did something here there's nothing else up there you don't need the elevator if that's will calm your rage. Oh, I don't need the elevator. Oh, okay. Oh. 
fucking shit. Are you kidding me? I just was like walking by that this whole time. And let me guess if I do it the other way. Oh, you know what? I did it when it was even. And it didn't do anything. Now I'm fucking whipping past all this stuff and being like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, it's done. I just need to upload it. Uh, for the Patreon. And then I'll get the other one up to sweet. Uh, it's exported. Ooh. Do you think this would make a good VR game or a bad VR game? You want to do sketches. Uh, do you want some advice? If anyone has any sketch writing questions, now's the time to ask me. I can't jump in this fucking game. Even though I'm trying to just get down yet. I don't know, like... Could be cool if you don't get sick with VR. Good pencils and paper. <laughs> What's good? Beginning, middle, and end. Um, good beginning. Uh, have the audience interested in what you're doing, but set up a reality. That's the most important thing, is setting up a reality. Uh, you know, like... Ooh, wait, hold on. school for three years and worked editing act editing was way easier yeah I mean but everything's related like it's all about like conveying an idea um, it is the hard thing about acting is like you have to know how to like convey the idea without like overtly conveying the idea you know, and the idea might be something that's, like, beneath the surface, so you have to act naturally while doing it. And so it's kind of one of these things where it's, like, you know, it's not like you can be, like, too self-conscious to edit. Uh, but you can be too self-conscious to act. Uh, but, like, at the same time, there's something very similar about, like, knowing to, like, use more cuts when trying to make something frantic with, like being more, you know, like, uh, uh, kinetic when trying to seem unhinged. It's all about, like, the idea you're presenting to the audience, and it's about connecting your audience to that idea. Uh, 
so like all this stuff writing editing it's all connected i think writing and editing are more closely connected uh, but like yeah acting too and uh I think I was a pretty bad actor during the show. I had my moments, but I also had a lot of uh, shortcomings, a lot of bad performances, a lot of bad habits, I would say. I think, yeah, that's it. I had a lot of bad habits, and... Uh, ooh. Um, it's hard for me to watch a lot of that stuff. But there's some stuff I think, you know, I did, did a pretty good job with. Uh, it's fun, though. It is fun to, like, bring a personality into something and, like, just kind of, like, play with that. You know, play with people. It's fun to play. Uh, yeah, I realized that I had a fun time screaming, and so I started to write a lot of stuff where I screamed. Uh, sometimes without a point just an uh, opportunity for me to scream. Hence, Skatefall and Mom Phone, which are two examples of just me just screaming and screaming and screaming. Uh, sometimes I would try and scream to save a sketch. Uh, example of that would be uh, the Knuckle Sandwich sketch. I thought that was like Come on. All right, I'm going to follow this. See where this goes. See if I can fill this thing up with gas. If I just... All right. Fuel pumps. This makes sense. He's dead. He's stone cold dead. I like that. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay. Fill up the primer. Run. Now where's this go? Now what are we powering here? Okay. Let's see, we powered the tower, the sphere, the tunnels, scrap, Chris Farley. Cool. So that, this must be the power line. That red line, I think. Wait, what was that? One, one. Seven, nine. One, nine, seven, one. Riggsville, huh? Maybe it's seven, one, 
nine. Let's see if the operator's here. Not gonna a rotary phone feels more like a fun to dial. Yeah, no, it is, but it took fucking ever. Isn't it a thing where you could, like, make a rotary phone work if you, like, clicked the hang up button? Like, you could, like, kind of emulate the clicks of the rotary? Like, if you want one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if this worked. Mm, I bet I can walk somewhere. I can turn this now. But it's one of those walk on things. Yeah, this is missed. I figured out how to do some shit, but it really doesn't get me anywhere. Does anyone may it, it is pretty fun. And it's pretty soothing. Uh, does anyone want to play Black Ops? Play some just like multiplayer shoot ems. A quick week to install. Alright, I'll wait. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to that guy who wasn't real. He was just like a hologram. And he was like, fucking turn on the power. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Everyone's so fucking needy in this game. Bro, it's your stream. We're done for what? We're down for what? Oh, it's it's my stream. We're down for whatever. I was just saying, like, if there's someone who wants to like play Black Ops with me, I'd be down. But you don't gotta. That's fine. The USS and oh yeah, that was that Nick Cage movie, huh? Oh. 
Shut up, Timmy. CWTW? Mofang. Don't care. Don't care. That's too young, dude. Wait, I used this to get up to that red beam before. It's like, no. Say, Ambassador Seed, swap machine functionality. Radius of swap sphere is defined at first swap. Immutable, cool. Uh, seeds recharge naturally from ubiquitous ambient membrane power radiation tied to tree health. Okay, right. uh, Forcing seed triggers prep behavior, radius demarcation small battery added to amplify ambient membrane power okay get it get it get it charges continually parabolic focusing of power used to trigger seed swap behavior all right cool uh, locking location of swap machines assures predictability no unanticipated damage okay okay radius demarcation also occurs at the same location of the sphere without a pair of Pair seed defining the destination swap location. The destination coordination match the source. Voila, swapping on demand. It's that simple. Let's see what this has to say. Mayor's imager requests. Entry canyon. Okay. Center town, tree, water sauce, membrane. Alright, so. Huh. Okay, so they finished those. I saw all those, and they didn't finish the other ones, apparently. <sighs> Why 
Why does this game have fucking homework, huh? Sound will be handled separately. Some projections. Uh, check Not sure why I tried this. Farley claims it's related to. You remember Chris Farley? Uh, to some desire of mine to shoot everything. Okay. Alright, I get it. Alright, that's simple. Alright. Put that fucking book down. What was that? Stephen King's The Stand? That book is fucking long. Okay. Looks like there's a grill. Okay. Power test for charge implemented. Ten percent charge. Focal test. To focus. Ten percent charge. Top top charge. All right, that makes sense. Just do the thing. It's not plugged in anywhere, but okay. What is the Mofang an alien? Know what I always say? Don't look a gift mouth in the horse. Fang, less teeth. I like it. Oh, come on, you'd be able to get across that.
I'm going back to see if anything changed, but I'm going to explore that other part of the... Not this. You know what the crazy thing about Mist was? Was in Mist, you like found this code and you found this page that like uh, on this thing, uh, and you played the game to figure out all this stuff. And basically, like if you know what you're looking for, you can beat the game as soon as you start it. You just need to know what to look for. I thought I'd be able to go the other way, but... Only open and close. Sam, I try to help with my average intelligence, but I've kind of been preoccupied in chat rather than paying attention to the game. I couldn't even tell you what game you're playing. I'm playing Obduction. Sorry if I haven't been looking at chat enough. If that was a sarcastic remark that I've just been zoned in this game. I get I get bad about that sometimes. Sometimes it's you know what it is? I always like look up and I get lost in chat. I get lost with what you guys are doing. With what you're talking about. And then I feel like a fool. Thank you for sticking up for me, Jarek Seer. Some people need to be reminded. No. Sam is not the man. Sam is a man. Did you reserve a Steam Deck? No, I didn't. I saw them, though. Those look cool. How much are they going to be? What's the MSRP on that shit? 9 out of 10 times just talking about jacking off. Oh, and I missed it? Fuck. Buying like 10 Steam Decks to me. I haven't 
been back here yet, have I? What was it? Seventy-one nineteen, wasn't that it? How amazing would that be if the password was boobs? And like it's nowhere in the game. Like the game doesn't tell you. It's just like waiting till you get like frustrated. 1971. Let's see if that's the code. Was that the first thing I did? Or did I do 1791? So wait, how much is a stream deck? Someone, uh, sorry if I, I keep missing that little chunk of... Two five zero one. Call. I'm going to try that one first. That's a good call. Was the house number? Fuck, I gotta walk back to that house. I should use the fucking camera more. Even though I don't know how to find the pictures, I'm sure there's somewhere I can look up these pictures. Ooh, thank you. from here. Nope. Spaceballs? You guys talking Spaceballs? Spaceballs joke that broke my brain? This is now. What we're watching it's happening right now. Love that.
Favorite Mel Brooks movie? I mean, Spaceballs is the one I grew up on. Uh, Gene Wilder's great, though. I fucking think he's so fucking funny. Um, so, I mean, Young Frankenstein's really good, but uh, you gotta love the, like, Blazing Saddles. Like, he had, like, a very cool, like, subdued performance in that. I mean, I'm just gonna take a picture of that just in case, but I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go far back. Alright, wait, let's just look at this for a second. So the garage... Where's the garage? It's just past here. So that's south. So the sphere. What is this all going to? I mean, you would think it's the power, but the garage is next to the. Is that not the garage? CW, town. That map doesn't seem accurate. It's funny, this is like a regular set of wheels, but then this is just a motorcycle. over there. There's a jug. Why can't I pick up this jug? Hey, thanks for subbing, bits. This reminds me of the lantern. It's a jug. Is there something written in the smears? Oh well. All right. I'm gonna run back to the house. You see what the numbers are on the house. It's four numbers. I'm gonna go try it. I wonder. All right, photos. I can look at my photos. Did I take a photo of the house? way more photos than this I thought. Okay, wait, here's the house. Is this the code? Six three one two. I don't know. All right, I'm going back to the house. Mercantile. 
else, huh? Uh, Charles Gordon was great. Did you ever see him in the Steve Martin movie, The Lonely Guy? One, four, three, six. Uh, I've seen The Lonely Guy, I think on Comedy Central a long time ago, but a long time ago. I love Steve Martin. Man, fucking Three Amigos. That movie's fucking great. I mean, The Jerk's classic. Uh, I, you know, I just think... One of my favorite sketches is Steve Martin's Christmas Wish. That it's just like the way the writing changes your opinion of the character throughout it, and it's kind of like it still has its like tempo and its pace and its like refrains and uh, crescendos, and uh, it's really really good. And it's short. It's not long. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is fantastic. What was the sketch where he was a bad waiter? I'll have to look that up. Alright, let me check this. One, four, three, six. They made the code their house, right? God damn it. I love his character introduction. Uh, Smother Brothers. He used to write for Smothers Brothers. It was the house backwards. Because we're on the inside of the house. Thought that might be it, but I was just kind of... What's the fucking bleeder, huh? Right, rail yard, okay. Tower. I haven't been in the tower yet. CWs. Alright, that's that weird guy in the... Th Door. Farley's. Okay, the bleeder's that weird. Alright, really weird. And that must be the sphere right there. Okay, fuel supplies, rail yard. Alright, bleeder. Fifteen, fifty-one. I don't know what it is. Communication, talking with our neighbors. We take communication for granted, even with the varied languages we find here in Hunranth, Hunroth. But when we suddenly find ourselves among other intelligent species who don't share our culture, history, DNA, or vocal cords, it requires a huge amount of effort for the beginning of rudimentary chatting. This is 
quick overview will set the stage for what to expect when communicating with our neighbors. Mofang. The Mofang were the first non-humans we met at least some level of similar physical vocal generating abilities they picked up human words quickly this early mimicry resulted in what we the species became we the species became to be called even though they were able to mimic single words and simple phrases it became evident over the years that huge grammatical differences were not easily overcome some have that the difficulty may have arisen because the Mofang insisted on attempting to learn every human language and as a result were never able to lock on to any consistent grammatical structure. Nevertheless, in construction it has been very easy to communicate and it has been unnecessary for us to learn their language beyond a few simple phrases in proper names. If you'd like to learn more about communication with the Mofang, please contact Tam. The Villain, like villain, have presented a particular communication challenge. From what we can gather, they produce sounds using two large reed-like structures inside opposite sides of their head. Vibrations generate our challenge or channeled uh, to resonance chambers in their skulls where they are combined into a complex low frequency dual tone. The low frequency bitonal sounds are not only hard for humans to hear and resolve, but impossible for us to mimic. And the Valines hearing is also oriented towards low frequency, so they are unable to hear most of the sounds associated with human speech. Therefore, communication with the Valine has relied on technology. They have adapted consoles, which the Valine fluently control with vocalizations. Hmm. For use by other species over the years, some individuals of other species, including a few humans, have learned to communicate very effectively using this method humans have been able to pick out. Some higher frequency characteristics of certain key Valain words over the years, although we can't speak to them in a way that the Valines can understand, we are occasionally able to hear and recognize these words when spoken distinctly by the Valine. If you'd like to learn more about communication with the Valine, please contact Vito. Alright, so wait, what was the first guy? Wait, I wonder if I can take pictures of this stuff. Alright, so Tam. Vito. Fucking how long is this? Alright, okay. Farley. Uh, none of the stages of the Arai morphology have any vocalization apparatus because of the obvious synchronization of the barnacle flash and the ability of the pawns to provide for for and address the need for polyarchs needs of the polyarchs it was assumed that the species could communicate effectively it was not until Farley began to spend large amounts of time in the polyarch uh, antechamber that the first clues to this communication became evident. After months of research, Farley began to have limited success with receiving some kind of simple messages that were coming from the polyarchs. It is apparent now that the polyarchs had been attempting to communicate the entire time, but they themselves had been experimenting with various channels until they finally got a response from Farley. After this breakthrough, others were able to tune into the polyarchs and learn to listen. Both the polyarchs and the pawns have a simple organ that can sense human vocal frequency, enabling them to sense simple responses from humans. But over the years, Farley was able to learn to speak to the polyarchs via a related form of extrasensory transmission. If you'd like to learn, contact Farley. Oh, so much info. All 
Alright, I'm not reading all that. You know what? Here's what I'll do. It's like I'm a spy. Put it down. The entire landscape outside of our circle of desert could only be described as alien. Large floating rocks could be distance, blah blah blah. We fully explored the new surroundings. No way home was ever found. In fact, as soon as discovered what we take for granted now, not only could we not get back home, we also could not access the landscape outside the desert. Curiously, we discovered that a few flow of water provided high point for rocks. Central trees. Importance to the last year. Yeah, I get it. Tree. Important. Okay. Fuck it. those fuckers are around, huh? What if... Sixty five, one hundred and five. I wonder. Hmm. Now this looks familiar. I wonder if this lines up like... Yo chat, what's going on? You guys talking about jerking it?
I think I saw that somewhere. Where's the town? It's this way, right? Yeah. Okay, guys. Time to wrap it up. I got sucked into this one. I had a really fun stream with you guys. Do I... This was a fun one. Let me see who's on.
Oh my god, why is every fucking... Every front page stream is like... Except one. The guy playing f Pokemon... Is... Freaking... Music. It's all music, huh? What? How much? You know what? You guys seem like you need help. That's why I am going to do my duty. I'm going to send you guys to get help. Let me see if this works. Alright, you guys, you're gonna get some therapy from fucking Gecko or something. Uh, have fun watching Lyle Forever. Thanks for watching.